Good morning and welcome to another day in Bali. Today is an exciting one for you, isn't it? It is pretty damn exciting. We almost went to yoga and well, then I'm that idea got scrapped. It's kind of really fancy cause... going to a yoga class. Why did we scrap the idea? I can't cross my legs. Jake can't cross his legs. I was like, if you can't cross your legs, you won't be able to do any of the other <laughs> yoga poses. This is really problematic. So we'll scrap the yoga idea and we're gonna go to a little chocolate fact, a mini, mini chocolate factory in like North Abud. So it looks really good. It's free entry and free tasting. Mm, which is optimal because I can taste a lot. <laughs> and it's all like made with local produce and yeah, it sounds incredible, right up our street. We're gonna go there first. And then there's this other location that I found which I'm going to push the name of again, but so I'll find it first and then I'll read out later. Um, but that looks beautiful with like all these statues and sculptures and that'll be our second stop. So Stay tuned. Plan. We've had our overnight oats, greens, mm. coffee, classic morning, ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> So we've just arrived at the chocolate factory. It was a 40 minute ride in total, which and doesn't sound too bad. Last night it was less than half an hour, just saying. That's Obviously what you traffic said. the next day made it There's a lot no worse. There's no proof of this. Um, and 40 minutes on a bike is actually quite painful. When you're driving. I was having a great time. Yeah. You, were, you were struggling a little Passenger bit. Passenger princess. It was awful. Wouldn't recommend it, but... Um, we're here now. It looks really yeah, good. It does look really good. It's really kind of like picturesque, but it is on a main road, so you might not be able to hear us properly. So sorry. Hopefully. Um, we're going to go for a little tour now. Like walking through the door now, so you just get like this waft of really chocolate. Really chocolate it's how it smells incredible. So we've just booked onto the tour, and they do something really fun at the start. So you actually make your... They make your own chocolate for you to pick up at the end. So you get to like mold it and then you pick two of these ingredients to like add to the chocolate bar. So you can get peanuts, cashew nuts, coconut, cacao nibs, coffee beans, gummy bears, sprinkles, rosella flowers. Oh. All as well at the chocolate bar. And then you get to take it home at the end. And then what else was included? A tour of the farm, a tour of the factory and another load of tasting, but it's fresh. So, We've and already was, done some tasting. Yeah, we have a little bit. And it's so pretty good. damn good. So good. Yeah. And the ticket was 100k per person. That included all of those little extras. So it's pretty good. Really good value. Yeah, really good value. On the community tab, we're going to put a poll so you can vote uh, who you think made the best chocolate between me or Meg. Mine's peanut based and Jake's is coffee based. Coffee and cacao. Peanut. And Oh, think about the peanut crunch with the dark chocolate. And did you go for creamy or dark? Creamy. So Jake's gone for creamy coffee. Creamy and coffee? I'd go for dark and coffee. That's rogue. A bit interesting. It's going to be better. It might have to be better, isn't it? I don't think it is. Well, the poll will decide. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Welcome to Jungle Go Chocolate. Yeah, my name is Purnama. I'm on the team of the Jungle Go Chocolate. Don't forget to like and comment Jack and Meg. Meg. Yeah, and okay. subscribe. <laughs> so we just started our tour and they took us out to uh, like a replica of a coffee, coffee? chocolate plantation. Um, and he actually picked uh, one of the cacao, are they called cacao pods? Cacao, uh, cacao, pod. cacao pods and opened it so and let us the try the inside. pure chocolate. And it was really sour. <laughs> really weird. That's because it's not gone through like fermentation and stuff, but. Really Hopefully the end product will be better than that. <laughs> this place is so cool. I'm absolutely loving it. We just saw like the, they called it like bean to bar process of how they're getting the cacao beans from the farm to the chocolate bar, which is so cool. The guys are great. Like the guys are fantastic. It's such a lovely place to come. We even, they said we were quite special because we saw the, the coffee beans when they are being roasted deposited into like a, what was it called? Yeah, it's like, it's like a vat. Yeah, the where they like turn them and continue like to do like the final last bit of the roasting. So interesting. We're having a great time and now we're going to mould our own chocolate bars with the flavours <laughs> that we picked. So excited for that. I'm oh, excited yeah. to taste some more chocolate because this place just it just smells amazing. The whole place just smells of like melted chocolate. And it feels like we can spend a lot of money. So 
we've done a bad thing, and it's not by sitting by the road because you might hear the road noise. We actually succumbed. Ordered some bits yeah. from the cafe. I got an iced mocha. You got iced chocolate. Don't know what that is. Yeah. And then we got two kind of chocolates to share. And they look. Hey. They look unreal. And we were like, if we're not going to do it now, when are we going to do it? We haven't yeah. made the most of these opportunities, really. Yeah, we're definitely going to get some for breakfast tomorrow. Screw the oats. Unbelievable. <laughs> they look it, the so smell good. is just incredible. So excited. Mm. Just got our chocolate bag in these cute little boxes. Oh, we're obsessed with this place, honestly. So we can try these later. I think it's a must visit. <laughs> I honestly would. I'd put it on your must visit list for Bali. This place has been amazing. And now we're going to buy some extra chocolate to take home because we've not had enough chocolate yet. Um, we're going to buy five of these little mini bars in different flavours. So we've got a super dark, just dark, and then we've got some caramel, cookies and cream, and peppermint. So a nice little selection. Should do us for a while, we hope. We don't lose all self control. This is here! So we got back from the chocolate factory. It was such a good experience. We've come back with so much chocolate, but we only got to do that once, so it was totally worth it. On a bit of a sugar high. We waited a bit, and now we've ordered some food. I went for a gado gado, because I just fancied some vegetables. Um, and it's just veg with like tofu and a peanut sauce. And Jake went for a chicken breast marinated in spices with some steamed rice. So he's just gone to grab that now. Should be really nice. It's from one of the classic wurrings that we always order from. And we're just gonna sit and enjoy that, do some editing and then crack on with some work this afternoon. But it was such a good morning and we had another stop that we were gonna to go to, but we'll go to that tomorrow, we think. So Jake's lunch was so good, wasn't it? It was 10 So, out of 10. so good. I was very jealous. I tried. <laughs> you had big food envy. <laughs> I said, oh, we've got to have that for dinner, like, or at least I've got to have that for dinner. Go back to the grab up to look for it for dinner. And the restaurant that he ate at lunch is now closed. Like a few hours later, it's not even late. Like it was half past five, six o'clock when we looked. So I searched the dish and we found a completely different restaurant. Never tried it before. Looked a bit random. They had about 60 different choices. A million different menu items. Chinese, Korean, burgers, they had it all. The works, but they had this dish with rice. And so we went for it. And it was a big risk. It was really cheap, really cheap. We got two dishes and then we got some spinach and chicken on the side. And the whole thing was like £3.50. So it was super cheap. But that could be, I don't know. I don't know. It's a massive risk. But I was just so jealous of Jake's dish at lunchtime that we had to order it. So we are where we are and it's on its way. We've just been doing some work. Um, we've come inside to avoid the bugs this evening, but I am excited for the food, just a bit apprehensive. Mm, I don't think it's going to be as good as lunch. It so. won't be as good as yours at lunch, but it might it might come close. And as long as it's got the same flavours, I'll be happy. So mm, we'll see. Will it? I don't think it will. We'll see. So the food's arrived. It doesn't look anything like yours from earlier, does it? No resemblance at all. It looks the opposite. It looks like... Um, what is it? Not crispy chili beef, but what's the thing that you get from a Chinese? Uh, chicken and black bean sauce. Yeah, it looks like chicken and black bean sauce. It smells really good I don't know though. If it tastes like it. And then we got loads of greens, which is really healthy. So we'll see. The jury's still out. Are you, are you gonna try it? What does it taste of? Like m minty. Minty. And then flavoursome. It's really good. It does, it does taste good, but it's a bit minty at the start, isn't it? Dinner was actually pretty nice. I really liked it. Yeah. The greens were the best part, I think. Yeah, that was weird, actually. The greens were so much tastier than the chicken, but I would actually eat it again, I think. Really? Uh, yeah, I would. I wouldn't choose them. I think there's so many better warungs out there. Yeah, that's true. They were super cheap, though. Super cheap. And then we finished off the day with some of the chocolate that we bought. From the chocolate factory today. not the chocolate we made we're saving that for tomorrow yeah we are saving that we'll show that tomorrow um so we've got we've got a plan to go to i want to say it's like oh. you're gonna butcher it yeah i am i've written it down on my phone but it's a really lovely place with beautiful statues and it's on the river and it's a really nice location so we're gonna go there tomorrow 
and we're gonna merge today and tomorrow's vlog to make a bit of a longer video. So, see you in the morning. It is a new day here in Bali. Um, we had a really disruptive night's sleep last night because there was actually a mouse that got in and set off one of our traps and it was so loud. That but it, it didn't woke. actually get caught in the trap. It set so, it off and escaped. So the, the mouse got caught in the trap, it ate the food and it got locked in and then it managed to knock itself, the whole trap, from the top of the bedroom onto the floor and it made a massive bang. And then we turned the light on and then we saw the mouse climb up the curtains and I managed to get some photos of it on like the beam. Running across it, the beam. Before it climbed into a gap in the ceiling, um, which was pretty disastrous for us because we didn't really sleep well after then. And then about two o'clock in the morning, we had another trap go off because we got two in our room and the second one went off and that woke us up again in the same, the same problem. So um, it's been chaos, yeah, absolute chaos. We messaged our Airbnb host, and they've actually been quite good about it. So they've given us a fifty percent refund, and there's actually a villa next door that's hopefully not mice infested that we can stay in tonight whilst they're changing over occupants. So we're gonna move villas tonight, um, and that to will be to let them the... like go into our villa, do some. What, I don't know. Like, extermination? I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what staying a night somewhere else is going to help with. Seal up the holes. At least we'll get a good night's sleep anyway. So we're going to move there for a night. And the tour of that place will be in our next video. So make sure you it's keep an eye out. chaotic. Absolutely chaotic. We're... Will we ever have expected this? No. This is the dream villa gone bad. <laughs> um, but we're going to head out this morning and make the best of the rest of the day. Um, yeah. We're going to, I'm going to say it's Taman Sadari, which is the place with loads of beautiful um, statues and it's by a river. And I think I described it yesterday and I've definitely said the name wrong. But we're going to go there this morning. It should be really pretty. Mm. Um, we had some pan chocolates this morning. From, yeah, we did. They are so good. From the chocolate factory yesterday. We went to yesterday. Um, and some coffee. And of course, our greens, which if you'd like to shop our greens, we have a link in our description and you can use code planes and gains for extra money off. Um, but yeah, we'll crack on with the day now after, after that start. So we're looking for this ridge walk and we've accidentally stumbled across the Royal Mahapita, Mahapita Hotel and it was beautiful. The rooms we just had a look on booking.com, it's like £350 a night and for Bali that's ridiculous. This place is but unbelievable. You can really see why. Unbelievable. The views um, are incredible. So Absolutely incredible. We're not meant to be here at all. No. Um, security was really lapped, we're so totally we snuck in to go to the toilet. We're trying to find the um, the temple that has all the beautiful statues and do a little walk, but we're just stuck in this hotel complex, and it's amazing. But we definitely aren't meant to be here. <laughs> After we got lost in the hotel and got directed by some janitor. Lovely, yeah, loving man who was more than happy to help us find the statues. And it's part of a restaurant, the Chaman Dad, Dad, Dari, rest, Dari restaurant. So, because it's so incredibly beautiful, we're going to sit here and have a drink because the views are just stunning and the statues are breathtaking really aren't they I think it's it's so beautiful it's so worth it and the prices aren't even silly you think it would be absolutely extortionate but it really isn't so yeah, yeah we're gonna sit here for a bit and enjoy the view it's so serene like there's lovely music it's so peaceful they're not letting you put drones up Classic. can you believe it? <laughs> can you believe it there's not actually many people here either. No, like, it's super quiet. There's only a couple of people taking photos. And... Yeah, but it's it's so, yeah, I'm blown away really. So zen. So we've ordered a couple of iced coffees. I've got an iced cappuccino. And 10 out of 10. Jake Hazelnut got... iced coffee. Hazelnut iced coffee, because it's like whipped cream, which is some crazy eccentric drink that any Jake would choose. Mm -hmm. Tastes nice though. And then, what did you fancy? Well, we have a confession. We went Western again, and we haven't learned from our lessons. 
Although, how bad can it be? We just thought this place was so good. They must do like really good salads and the salads looked incredible. So we got two Caesar salads. Two Caesar salads. One each, of course. And at many. home, I absolutely love a Caesar salad. It's like one of my favorite foods. I, I honestly love them so much. I haven't had one for God knows how long. So, so and we were like, like your stomach just, you know when your yeah. stomach opens up and you suddenly get like really hungry yes. for that one food. So ready. So we've ordered Caesar salads. So hopefully they're good because the Western food we've had here in Bali so far has been awful. Understandable, really. Understandably so. You should just order local no, food. There's no bread, so how, how bad can this be? Go? Our chicken Caesar salads were really good. They're delicious. Really tasty. And getting out was a lot easier than getting in. Yeah, now we knew what we were doing. We didn't end up back in the bloody hotel complex again, so mm. much better. So we're now going to undertake the mission of moving to From the other villa for one night. So we're just going to pack a night bag, leave the rest of our stuff here while the extermination team come in, we think. Maybe. Hopefully. So that's the plan now. We're going to split the video because we don't want this to get too long. So we're going to end this one here. And then on Sunday, hopefully, Sunday or Wednesday. The new, so we, we release our videos either Wednesday or Sunday. So if this is Wednesday, it'll be on Sunday. <laughs> um, we'll have a new video out of our experience in the new villa, moving there for just one night. It's actually more expensive than this one. And the new villa tour. Yeah, and it's got an extra bedroom, totally unnecessary, but it'll be fun to see. So stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a subscribe. We're really trying to get to a thousand subscribers um, and it means a lot to us. And please give it a like if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the new villa. Bye. Bye.